Hello. I'm going to do a little demo for my students on how to throw a bowl. Today is April 4th, 2023. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a bat. Get the bottom a little bit wet to create a suction. You want to put it curvy side onto the bat, curving like a hill. We're going to add our clay. The best amount of clay to start with as a beginner is what fits nicely in your hand. I would say this is a little bit large and I'm looking for my wire. I'm going to take a little bit off just so that it's maybe a more accurate demo. This is maybe a pound and a half or two pounds. Two pounds is probably great for starting. Okay, I just made a pot so I'm already full of clay. I created that volcano, I sealed the bottom, and now I'm going to add water and I'm going to squeeze the clay, keeping my pinkies on the bat. My left arm's braced on the splash guard, I'm squeezing, my hands are moving right now, I haven't started squeezing yet, and I'm going to use my biceps and upper body muscles to squeeze the clay. The clay has nowhere to go but up, make sure you keep it wet, otherwise the friction will just pull this whole thing off. Keep it nice and wet. I'm going to squeeze the clay. It's going to go up. I'm going to draw a line in the middle of my hand. Line that up with the top of the clay. Brace my left arm. And I'm going to push the clay down into the wall of my hand. If the diameter here, if you've kind of run out of space, you may need to take your hand and scooch it back a tiny bit. If your clay is not centered and you're at a point similar to this, you're going to squeeze the clay. You don't need it to come up very far. A half an inch is fine. So I'm going to squeeze the clay just a half an inch. And I'm going to push it down again. I'm squeezing my sponge so that water gets onto the clay. All right. Your hand can be in the center. It can be in six, at 6 o'clock. You can even go over the edge a little bit to create a dome. That's fine. Slowly, I'm going to come away. If clay has snuck under here, use your finger. Support it with your other hand so it's nice and strong and to get rid of that clay. If this part's not quite centered, you can also put your hand right there. All right, next step, let's drill the hole. My left arm is braced. Plenty of water. Two thumbs are drilling down. I can tell there's a little bit of friction. I'm going to remove my hand, add a little bit of water. I'm going to go down. I want to leave a quarter inch or more of clay. To take your measurement, you grab your needle tool, put it into the pot, have your finger touch the clay, and you can see how much space you have, how much clay is right above the bat. So I'm going to press the clay down a little bit further so I have more like a quarter inch of clay. So I'll switch positions. I'm going to use my middle finger because it's just a little bit easier to manage. Okay, now I'm going to pull the clay towards me. My left arm is braced. My left hand is on the pot. I'm going to pull the clay towards me. My thumb is on the outside of that hand. You have to see what's comfortable for you. This is how I do it. So I'm pulling the clay towards me and this pointer finger helps. If at any time the clay is sticking to your hands, you're gonna slowly come away, add some water, and continue. We don't wanna pull any wider than the base. I can pull a little bit further, but I don't wanna have this wall really hanging over the base. All right. I'm going to compress my rim with an H shape. I have this little high spot, so I'm going to push that, push that down back into the clay. Also, I want to even out the bottom of my pot. And to do that, if this is the bottom of your pot, you're going to work in the center. And you'll go from the center to the right, nice and slowly. And then from the right, from that 3 o'clock, back to the center. And this is what that looks like. In between my middle finger and the pot is my sponge. I'm going to go out to the right, 
and back to the center. Sometimes when you go back to the center, a little piece of clay comes off and that's fine. You can just grab that and just take it out. This smooths out the bottom of your pot and compresses the pot so it's stronger at the bottom and has less of a chance of cracking. All right, water on the inside, water on the outside. We're gonna do a pull. The first pull, my hands are about the same height and they, my fingers are kind of right across from each other and we're squeezing the clay gently just to let the clay know what we're doing. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna brace my left, actually no, I'm gonna brace my right arm on the splash guard. I'm gonna grab my sponge. You don't have to use a sponge. I like to use it because it evens out the pressure. My middle finger and kind of my pointer, you could use your middle finger also. My pointer on the inside, we are moving upwards, squeezing the clay. We're not really doing that much. We're not changing that much. We're gonna just compress the rim. Okay, now what we're gonna do for the next pull, the second pull, I'm gonna create a little groove here and I'm also going to push some clay out. I need to have a bump of clay so I can get this left hand underneath. So I'm going to create the bump of clay a little bit higher than my right hand. And I'm, my right hand's going to get under that and go up, 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 up. Now, as you're going up, 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 this hand's lower, this hand's higher. We're going to keep going. As we get towards the rim, they are going to be about the same height and a little gentler pressure. Here's what this looks like. My left hand is kind of holding the pot. Sometimes people have their thumbs all the way out here, but it's a lot more helpful if you can keep that inside thumb down. My right hand is going to create that groove and you can see my hands are touching each other. And that's good because that means strength. When you have two hands working together, it means you are stronger and more braced. Okay, I'm going to create the groove down here. Now with my inside hand, I'm going to create a little bulge. There's my bulge right there, and we're going to go up together. Same time, and my inside hand's a little higher. My outside hand is right underneath, and we're trying to move some clay upwards. Slight pressure at the top, slowly come away, compress that rim. Now I'm noticing I flared a little bit. If that happens, you're gonna make the outside wet but, and we're gonna collar in. We're gonna squeeze the clay and slowly move up, really gently, because we can do it several times that my hands are gonna move up. I'm gonna do this again. I haven't been talking about wheel speed too much, but you might be able to see from you know the video what the speed is. squeezing and moving up. When you're building a bowl, a vase, you want to start with a cylinder and keep those walls straight up and down or even have them facing inwards, kind of, you know, that volcano cone shape. Okay, let's do another pull. Let's see if we can really get some height. Inside hand, it's going to create a bulge. Bottom hand is supporting the bottom and kind of creating a tiny groove, but really I'm trying to get this bulge here. Okay, I can see it. These two hands are going to be working Together they are touching each other and up we go. Every time the wheel turns, you're going up about an eighth of an inch. All right, we got up a little higher. Let's do it again. I'm gonna cone in, because I don't wanna get wide. Once you get wide, it's hard to control. All right, creating that bulge. Outside hand is right underneath it. Up we go. Yes. Okay. All right. There might be a little air bubble or something in the top of the rim. I'm going to show you guys how to cut the rim off. So I went in here to get the water out. I may have knocked my pot a little bit off center. So I'm just going to do the gentlest pull and kind of bring everything back to be centered here. To take off that uneven rim we have there at the top, I'm gonna to create a table. My right arm is braced. My tool is resting on my thumb. When I'm ready, I'm gonna push the tool into the rim. It might take 10 rotations for it to go all the way through. I'm using the gentlest pressure and letting the tool drag. 
when my pointer feels the needle tool all the way around, then I'll take this off. Okay. So now we've got a nice level rim. Okay, great. Let's make a bowl. One of the first things you can do to make your bowl is I'm going to have a lot of pressure from the inside pushing out. My outside hand is kind of just supporting. So we are doing a pull. I'm. It's just a gentle kind of movement with my outside hand and my inside hand is pulling the clay. When I've gotten to the top, I'm going to release super gently. In a minute, we're going to use a rib too. I like to keep my foot on the pedal. I can adjust the speed as I need to. It's one, I think for me it's just easier when I've got my foot on the pedal, adjusting the speed constantly, and kind of not having to move my foot. Okay, we are going to widen our bowl and you can use a rib. You're going to use the round part of your rib. I love this rib. I can decide to go this way using, I would be here, but I can use this part or this part. I think I'll start this way. I'm gonna put pressure from the inside outwards. My outside hand is just hanging out here, supporting, and I'm gonna slowly release. Let's do one more pull here. I don't know if this is technically a bowl, but it's kind of more of a shaping, I guess you would say. All right, and you've got a bowl. To finish up your pot, take the water out from inside. Make sure the inside of your bowl is exactly how you want it, and this top inch, because next week you'll flip it upside down, and it's hard, just, you know, it's just one more step, so it's a little bit harder to get to. Pressing that bottom again, cleaning that up. All right. Press the rim. Clean up your bat. What is kind of fun, you can try to use the webbing between your fingers to work on this little rim here. Gently come away. All right. I can't wait to see you guys in class. Bye.